in terms of uh, housing, uh, yes, it is a challenge, uh, but I think we are in the process of meeting that challenge. But in large measure, that's why I uh, set up a private fundraising uh, operation and the private sector has raised over $20 million so far and much of that will be devoted to rent subsidies. In addition, uh, people in the real estate sector are putting forward uh, rental units that will be subsidized to help the refugees. So I think there are ways to uh, solve that issue. And in the meanwhile, the flow from the airplanes is not slowing down at all. It's just that if certain towns or cities need a, a pause, there will be other places in Canada who will receive the refugees. How long can they expect to wait in these hotels, given that there have been these requests for pauses uh, from different municipalities? Well, I think it's, it's difficult to give a precise answer. Sometimes it might be two or three days, sometimes it might be two or three weeks, depending on the situation. But I am assured that these refugee settlement agencies, they're very professional and they're very humanitarian. They're very caring about the refugees. They've devoted their lives to looking after refugees. So I think if the refugees stay, let's say two or three weeks in a hotel, I, I am sure that they will be look, well looked after by these agencies. But that having been said, we would still want to move them out and into longer term accommodation as quickly as possible.